may have lied in my last video saying that I was going to make one about how to set your heel on your graver. I kind of realized that I can't make one any better than Sam Alfano can. He made a video talking about how to set the heel. And if I made a video, I wouldn't be able to explain anything as good as he can. He is a master engraver after all. I've only been doing this for about two years, so I'm still really a beginner myself and have no business uh, trying to teach something like that to anybody. Go and watch Sam Alfano's video if you want to know how to set the heel. There are, however, some things that he didn't explain in his video that I think would really help someone just starting out. Things that I picked up, little tips and tricks that help you uh, set the heel rather than just knowing the basics of how to do it. Um, this will kind of smooth out the process hopefully for any beginners. And I don't know about anyone else that's tried to engrave, but for me, setting the heel was the biggest, biggest uh, roadblock to get over just to even get started. Because it's kind of a catch-22 when you think about it. You have to have a proper heel to be able to engrave, but to be able to engrave, you have to have a proper heel, but it's hard to tell if your heel is done right if you don't know how to engrave. So you get this constant circle in the beginning when you're first learning, uh, where you don't really know if it's your technique that's wrong or if you just set the heel wrong. So I'm gonna try to go over some of that uh, and help smooth out the process for others who were just beginning. I'd say my number one tip with doing your heel is to start off small. If your heel is too small, it'll just dig into the metal. As you tap it, it'll just keep digging into the metal until it won't move anymore because the heel isn't big enough to keep it from sinking into the metal. Whereas if your heel is too big, uh, you'll have to raise your hand up too high and you won't really get any deep, you won't really get a line that's deep at all. It'll just kind of scoot along the surface. That being said, it's easier to fix a small heel than it is a big heel. With a small heel, you're, you're taking out a very small amount of material. And if it's too small, keep sinking into your metal. You just wanna go back and do a little bit more sharpening and then test it again. Whereas if you make the heel too big, you'll have to go back and resharpen the entire face uh, down, which takes a lot more than just going back and making a few more passes on your heel. To check it, you do need to know at least the basics of hand engraving. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold your hammer like you would any hammer. And then with your graver, you're gonna want the pointy part to obviously be pointing down at your metal. And you'll grab it with whatever hand you're not holding your hammer with, believe it or not. And you don't wanna push it into the metal. You don't wanna sit here and force it um, you just want to apply enough pressure to let it keep it in place and let the hammer do all of the pushing. To start a line, you'll start off a bit higher and then you'll tap it a couple times. And then once you've kind of gotten into the metal a little bit, you'll start to lower your hand and you want to keep tapping as you bring your hand down to maintain your line. So this is an example of a heel that's too small. It's about a pretty good height, but I keep tapping and it just kind of goes nowhere. It's just going to keep digging in because the heel is not big enough. So what I'll do is just go back and I'll sharpen it a bit more and then I'll test it out and I'll repeat, I'll repeat that process until I get a nice consistent uh, Still too small. So you'll, you'll repeat that process until you get to a point to where you can hold your hand about here. And this, this angle will, it heavily depends on uh, person to person who's doing it. Once you do it enough, get a little bit of experience, you'll find where you like to hold your hand. This is an example of a heel that's too big. As I strike it, I'll start a line. And then it rides along the metal, but if you look at the line, which it would be very hard to tell, it's not a very deep line. It's making a very shallow cut, so it's not getting the proper amount of uh, depth while you're trying to make your line. A proper heel, and this is the one I use the most, you'll start your line, and then you'll be able to just sit and hold it at the same height. 
Use your hand to keep just enough force to keep it held down to the metal. You don't want to force it or anything and just tap it along. And you should be able to maintain that same height. And I, that will obviously come with practice. It's not going to be easy in the beginning. And eventually you'll get the consistency to make nice, clean, even looking lines.